Look, I'm bending my knees. No. No, 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 no chair, no chair. Okay, I'm ready to do a link before I fall over. I just can't do the link holding onto the board. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not too sure who, who started this. How did we get here? How did we get here? Started us. He sent us a message on the message board and he said, World Jet Big Talk, get himself onto the ice. I'm on the ice. This is the first time in my life. I don't mean to, but I'm moving forward. Um, I'm on the ice for the very first time. I've got so much padding. I feel like I weigh an extra 20 kilos. I am moving forward on my own. I mean. yeah. uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, Nadine Sheffield, John O'Berger on the ice with me as well. Very comfortable on the ice. Uh, and it'll take me not long, 15, 20 years uh, to get to this level. Uh, but uh, I can feel like things moving underneath me. Already I moved away from them. That's how much out of control I already am. Uh, anyway, of course, anyway, of course we've, we've not yet fallen. Give me a chance. Um, big game tonight, of course, South Africa against New Zealand. It's the final game of the Under-18 World Championships. And got to move. <laughs> the message, the instruction was bend your knees, which I'm doing. And just... I'm bending the knees. I promise you, I'm bending my knees. I must push. They want me to stand on one leg. Are they mad? Crazy. They did say, push with one leg. Just go. Wait for the one. Come, John, help him out. Help him out. There you go. There you go. Bring it in. Use the wise. Get the pressure on. Hold his hand tight. Now push. One leg. There you go. Another one. You got it. Push. <laughs> you get it. Push. There you go. Now you got your confidence, right? Thick helps. Sweet. Sweating like That's a what steam you engine. Do. And you're not even wearing pork yet? It's a good workout. <laughs> and he's on his bum. Well done, Jeremy. Can I just turn onto your knees? Okay, guys, so I mean, obviously a whole lot more difficult. Oh, you are kidding. And, ah! <laughs> You see, I'm not going to be there. Always like a little bit of ice with my drinks. Uh, and thanks to John O'Berger for that. As I said, uh, this is a whole lot more difficult than it looks, but it's lots of fun. And if you think this is the last time you see me on the ice, you are mistaken. I'll be back for more. Awesome stuff, man. All right, folks, uh, good evening to you and uh, welcome to tonight's game. Uh, 7 o'clock p.m. is the local time here in Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, and we're at the last game for uh, the IIHF's Ice Hockey Under-18 World Championship Division 3B. Uh, it's between South Africa and uh, New Zealand. For those of you who have been watching just beforehand, uh, you would have seen my very, very first, I kid you not, um, excursion on the ice uh, in full-blown ice hockey gear with ice hockey skates. Okay, there were Tupperware, Tupperware skates. Easily the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. But we've got them a better pair now. Oh yeah, the ones I've got now are good to go. Um, and you did very well. For there's a lot of people time. asking, am I still alive? I am. I didn't even have to go to hospital. I did fall over. Um, but I've got to tell you that there was in and amongst all of that I was excited I'm glad I'm, I'm very proud of you it was very fun <laughs> listen we're going to talk a little bit more about that a bit later we've got a couple of guests in between the periods of play but of course uh, it's all about the action on the ice tonight uh, and it's a very interesting position that we find ourselves in great win uh, for Thailand over Hong Kong I'm going to say a little bit unexpected at the same time Thailand coming away with a 5-4 what a thrilling win that was 
a 5-4 win over Hong Kong. It puts Thailand uh, at the moment into the gold medal position. Uh, and of course, uh, New Zealand will need to come away with a fairly convincing win here uh, if they're to take that gold medal away from uh, uh, from Thailand. For the South Africans, well, uh, uh, they've, they've come close. They've really played hard, uh, but they are without a win at the moment. They will want to change that tonight. Uh, and uh, alongside Nadine Sheffield, as I have been all tournament long, what a game we have on the cards for tonight. Definitely. I think uh, it's going to be a very big challenge for both teams. But they both won it very bad. And I know Thailand's probably supporting South Africa the whole way. Um, because if South Africa wins, it's very possible, very possible that they could get gold. But I have none of that confirmed. We will find out all of that at the end. So South Africa have managed to get the first offensive play down in the New Zealand's defensive zone. The stands are filling up beautifully. Lots of crowd here tonight. Last game, last exciting South African game. I mean, people are streaming in as we speak. I kid you they not, are. people are coming in in their numbers. And there's some big hits already. It's looking like fun. New Here Zealand. comes New Zealand down the ice, looking for a way through. The first time that they've even been in the South African half of the ice. Wow, that, uh, we, well, you're going to have to stop that because... Goals are displaced. Goals are seriously dislodged. I, I missed how that happened, but it uh, looked like one of the South Africans uh, just lost his bearings a little bit, sort of like I did today uh, on the ice, uh, and went straight into the goals. <laughs> well, we got you to the crease. You got there on your own. You did well. I got there. I was there. No, it was good fun. <laughs> Alan Pepe, where's the video of our new girlie? When do we see it? You missed it, Alan. You missed it, it Alan. We may beginning. very well show it to you during one of the uh, the interval breaks. It wasn't too terrible, but it also wasn't the most beautiful bit of ice skating you've ever seen in your life. I first survived. Time. I did fall. It was the first time you're on the ice. I'm very proud. Thank you. We'll and get you there before. You've got three weeks. Nadine Sheffield is going to be my coach train. for the next three weeks so that I can get myself ready for the men's tournament which gets underway on the 17th of April. Here we go. And New Zealand with a chance here. Shot Big shot. Come. Saved there by our number one keeper for South Africa. Nico Janssen van Rensburg. Lots of excitement, lots of attention done at the South African end of the of the ice. Intercepted and it's away. I and straight on the goalie. Oh. And you Can't know, be. I've seen that. I've seen those slip-ups before. And it's oh, gone right. in. Goalies are not wearing, like, awake, but, you know, not at this level. So let's see. New Zealand quick on the chase there. Oh! That sniper's back. New Zealand certainly putting on all the pressure. In oh, comes the shot. I would have called that almost a cross check, but uh, referee didn't call it a cross check. Yo, this ref's going to have to have eagle eyes tonight because I think it's going to be a pretty hard-hitting game. It's going to be fun, though. And I think uh, both these teams have got a bit of a point to prove. They had a friendly match before the tournament. And sadly, uh, there were two injuries on... Well, one injury on either side of the... Uh, yeah. We just get both and, of those and players both out. Both players that were injured are out of the tournament, unfortunately. So they, they both got points to prove here. So let's just hope they keep the aggression Look down. Look at and this arena. It's hockey. fantastic. There's just it is beautiful. bodies everywhere. Uh, and rightly so. Oh, it's the Zealand national with team. A shot. Lots of shots fired from the New Zealand team. Not, not, not necessarily on target right now, but they are getting in. Up to the point man again. Good deflection there from the South African defence. Doing a good job on Pressure the there from South Africa as they just steal it away from New Zealand. Great pass. Looking for a way through. Now, Baker. it's South Africa. They come out of the ice. Still South Africa. Looking for a way almost. McDonald uh, with it now. Turned over. Shot to come. Great save there by Farensburg. Keeping it out of the net crowds are still growing people are still coming in i kid you not we are three minutes into uh, into the game comes 
the bullet of a shot. Nico Janssen van Rensburg pulls it out of the sky. It's South Africa. I promise you, every time South Africa touches the puck, you the are going to hear a loud roar. <laughs> Get out the way, linesman. Still, New Zealand, New Zealand with a chance. Big shot. South Africa are looking a lot more composed than I've seen before. Don't know about you, but have you noticed? I have noticed. I was actually going to make that comment, but I thought it was too early. But South Africa focused on the job at hand. They're not going to be getting into any sort of uh, underhanded tactics. Except now we have a penalty on Goniway. Looks like it's a cross-checking call. Is it Goniway? No, it's not. Maruma Mafulo. Mafulo. Two minutes for cross-checking. South Africa under pressure, even with five, they're going to have to... Uh, they're going to really have their work cut out for them for the uh, the next couple of minutes when they're on four. Shot to come. Great work, Greg. And how did he keep that one out there? Dean Sheffield, tell me that. Well, you'll learn someday. But uh... Look at the speed oh! of this. Oh, no. That is going to leave a mark on the boards. Never mind on the player. That looked painful. Oh, it's getting through. I tell you what, the South Africans are hearing the crowd. They're getting very amped. That's awesome. It's always the most amazing thing playing at your home ground. You get such a vibe, and the crowd just pushes you that just that extra mile you need. Here we go, carry the quick hand. Nicely man. stolen. Nicely. South Africa come away with it. Levi with it now. Levi getting stolen away there by number 13. Looking, Looking for, for carry. a way shot to come in. Off Janssen van Rensburg. I promise you, the crowd goes wild every time this. Uh, puck goes anywhere near a South African player. Nice little check there. Uh, I'll take that puck and uh, dump it down the ice. <laughs> that Coley almost missed that one. <laughs> it was very close. The South Africans are playing. You know, we've always complained, Nadine Sheffield, about the South African start. They seem to start so badly. Well... They are on fire from the first puck drop. And why don't you sit it's down getting for a, a while? penalty. Kneeing. Number 11's going in the box for two minutes for kneeing. I think that was pretty easy to see. It's a good call by the referee. Uri van der is going to take a bit of a sit down. Crowd not liking that, but hey, it's, it's, it's bad play. It's dangerous. Let's have a look. Tell Chicken. me what you make of this one. Did he go into him with the knee? Oh, yeah. It's five versus three at the moment. South Africa work cut out. Very quick fired. Jeez, that was like a gunshot. South Africans protecting their goalie as defense. I know just how that feels. You protect them at all costs. Don't want anybody in there with their sticks hurting the goalie's hands. Let's have a look at it. Here comes the shot. It's a bullet. Beautiful shot. Absorbed. Push the numbers. 13 away. Still it's five plays. Three at the moment. Uh, not for much longer. Five seconds and that'll change. Oh, miscue there from New Zealand. A couple of uncharacteristic mistakes from them in their boulder. But still, uh, it's five against four. Shot to come in. They don't know where it is, it feels and like. And i tell you what, <laughs> all of a sudden, Jacob Carey is going, hold on a second, in previous games I would have scored by now. Uh, but um, not to be, he's uh, up against a South African green wall. Carey. Still five against four, so it's a power play uh, for New Zealand. Yep, and they're good. They control it. South Africa, really good composure. They're calm. They're keeping their they box. Are measured. Good they defense. Good stick are there. Getting in the way. That's okay. They're making life so difficult for the New Zealanders at the moment. New Zealand with it. Looking McDonald's. for the wraparound. Down to Carey. Carey with a shot. It's loose. Picked up South by Africa Baker. Come away with it. Baker getting it clear. Oh. Can we chase it's it on. down? 
Speed is what Good we race. need. Good race there by the South Africans. Tell you what, South Africa really getting in there, making a serious nuisance of themselves. And I don't think anybody's told the South Africans that they are one player short at the moment because they're certainly not playing like that. Here we come. New Zealand with the puck. Up the ice. There's a man in the center looking for that and it's up shot to come in. Still, South Great Africa job by South Africa. It down That's what the they ice. need. They need to get their change. Those guys have been on a bit long. It's a lot of common sense ice hockey at the moment from South Africa. Good. Structured approach. Jeez, this crowd, there's no... There's hardly any seats this side. I don't know what I'm going to do because the people still coming in. There's a and lot of seats are that virtually, side, uh, Yeah, a couple of seats, five or six or seven seats over there. But otherwise, we're going to have to put up the house full of signs. South Africa still clearing, trying to get it out. But you see them picking it up. Big and point how shot. about that? Three players to five. And they've weathered that storm really nicely. Really good defense there by South Africa. Good penalty kills. Now they've got to basically convert it to an attack all over the New Zealanders at the moment. Amazing, amazing intensity from these South Africans. Good fight, good battle. Loose in front of the net. Very, very risky business, but they're getting it out, which is South good. Africa will want to be a whole lot Ooh. more accurate and precise. New Zealand certainly have been able to do that. They've been able to find their players. There's a lot of harassment, Hapaka. What happened there? That was a hit see. well after the puck was gone. How oh, the referee didn't see that. Or the uh, the linesman. Well, the linesman cannot call it unless it's really dangerous and a, a major penalty. Janse van Rensburg is going not today. I'm sorry. No icing, no icing. South Africa recomposed, new fresh legs. New Zealand with a quick dump over. See, so you play soccer as well. We're going to watch that replay in a short while. Um, boy with it. Oh, boy just fumbles. Allen with it now from New Zealand. Carry. Oh, it's an offside call. Would have been an offside pass, and then they can go in. Good hustle from the South African number 18. Pondamava, but just gets it stolen away. New Zealand. New Zealand shot comes in. Dealt with by Van Rensburg. Looking for a way through, but still, New Zealand. Now that's called by the, uh, the referee. I didn't see it. I missed that. I was looking behind the screen. Now, now let's have a look at this. Yeah, firstly, referee Rasmus Anderson from Denmark. It's a tripping call. Says tripping. In goes Tiag for that. Now have a look at this one. Here's the hit. The puck goes away. Oh, and a cross check to the head. How did they not? How? Oh, that is but just ridiculous. It was also possible. Uh, that's a that is a shocking, shocking mistake the there from the officials. Very dangerous hit as well. Picked up the the uh, the foul on Tiat, No problem, but. Uh, uh, when the more dangerous uh, offence is committed, uh, play on, says the linesman. Well, the lines, yeah, the linesman should have seen that, and if they should have had a chat in the stop of play to the referee if they had seen it, because that being a, a major penalty could have been called. Because that was definitely up to the head. Hidden neck area. Anyway, okay. Here we go. Anyway, we regroup. Here we go, and it's uh, uh, it's still all of the pressure coming from New Zealand at the moment. Of course, another power play, five versus four, uh, and uh, just get away from me uh, on what the South Africans are saying to that puck. New Zealand with it now. Turnover in the neutral zone. Lewis dumping it down. Lewis going for a change with Barry. Good composure there from the South Africans. Uh, it's Baker sets it up. Crowd going absolutely insane. Levine. Imagine they score you. Oh, stolen away by New Zealand. Still pressure coming 
Carey with it, to fired come. in, loose pipe, but not able to control. Carey's getting the shots, but he's not getting them No, through. he's going, this is new territory for me. Normally by now I would have scored, I've had about 75 shots already. Shot comes in, dealt Nico. with by the South Africans. Still, the pressure comes from the Kiwis. Nico Jansen from come. Rainsburg's doing Miss a Miscue there job. from the New Zealand 11, uh, Marcus McDonald. It's loose. It's all over the place. Baker clears it out safely, not to go for icing, which is great, so his team can get some changes. Tiat's going to be able to get back on the ice in three seconds from now, but still the pressure from New Zealand. Oh! It's still loose. And what a lot of fumbling. Blow the whistle. South Africans don't like that. There's no protection from the officials on the goalie. Of course, the, the sticks all over uh, Nico Jansen van Rensburg's hands. But yet another power play averted, or the danger from the power play averted uh, by the South Africans. Composed, they look like a slightly different team. South Africa are doing a great job of defending right now. Nico van Rensburg, Janse van Rensburg. Is doing a fantastic job right now. Let's just keep keep that positivity going. There has been over almost 12 minutes gone oh, in this period. It's just flying by. No Such icing call. Hockey, which is great. South Africa, the pressure on. They chased it deep into that uh, New Zealand half uh, behind the goal now. New Zealand looking to reset. Women with it now. Oh. <laughs> Stolen back by the New Zealanders, looking for a way through. Up to the point. Point man looking to get it down again. And still, the shot comes in. Looking for the uh, quick shot in backhand. I've lost sight of the puck. There it is. Lots of fumbling Just going so on. much kill as well. Here we go. The, the South Africans and speed. But the New Zealand players and composure, also and accuracy, that of, that's, that's been the, the, the big difference here today. Gone South Africa with come up with Good Kaniwe. delay, good delay. Looks for his partner, but just intercepted there. So Ooh. much intensity. Sandwich. Oh, the more fisticuffs going on there. Somebody lost or something. Here we go, it's uh, New Zealand once again. Oh, that one's going to go, that's uh, called... Ooh, Nothing. Pass it straight. In. Oh, I thought that surely was going to be a goal. Oh, and it's uh, out. Oh, just getting looked after Not able to get a hold of it, he was been gone for all money. <laughs> South Africa needs to just compose, get some up there. They're going. But the New Zealanders, oh, he was getting a penalty on that. What is he getting? A hook. Right. There we go. It's uh, Max Simpson who's going to go and yeah, spend yeah. a bit of time in the sin bin. He's getting it for hooking. So now South Africa have got a power play for two minutes. It's six minutes, 54 left on the clock. And you know what's interesting, Jeremy? 17 shots to one. Wow, but I look fair value to uh, New Zealand. They'd be piling on the pressure. It's like a, a tap that you turn, and it's just a, a deluge of shots uh, coming from the Kiwis. Absolutely amazing to watch. I was talking about the accuracy. That has been a big factor as well. South Africa will do well to make notes uh, in that regard. There you go. The puck gets dumped all the way. And he's got it. He's covered it. We're keeping him well looked after, the defenseman. Here we go, New Zealand with four and on the attack. So now South Africa have got to get control and a big shot again. Is that carry again? I think he's he's looking for me to be one of the tournament for the for the New Zealand team. Yeah, no, absolutely. Tournament most MVP. Really good player. 
Makes a difference. He's Baker certainly a game down. breaker. Here we go. Around the boards, all the way to the back. And it's Kerry. <coughs> you just mentioned his name. Comes away with it. South Africa looking to uh, steady the ship here. They've got one minute and 15 seconds left on this power play. They need to get up there and get some shots off. Where's the wall? Here comes the wall. No, not quite. They're actually not changing that one. Here nice we go. Nice passing. Taking it around the corner. Who's going to pick it up? There's the long hair man again. Yeah. That's <laughs> his name again. Sebastian <laughs> Chamberlain. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Not you, man. Yeah, no, I mean them. <laughs> they, they should have said, I'm right here. Just the streaming people in there. What is going on? It's awesome. You this place a bigger is ring. humming. McDonald with it now. New Zealand looking to compose. If they can control it a bit and kill that oh. last few seconds. There we go. Oh, An opportunity. There, there we go. New Zealand. It's Big shot. shot. And, and it's a goal. goal. Short handed again. New Zealand have put one on the board and that was number nine. And isn't that our friend Jones? Hayward Jones? Yes, it is. It's Nash Hayward Jones who gets the, the breakthrough goal for New Zealand. Uh, very much at that point against the run of play because it was uh, New Zealand who was short-handed. South, uh, South Africa uh, were asking the questions. New Zealand with the 50-50 uh, the breakaway uh, and they made it count. Great New Zealand shot there. take the edge. Except his helmet's all loose. He's lost his clips on his helmet. His cage is like hanging around, flopping there. Great goal. South Africa have worked hard but they're still on the power play. They led in the shorthanded goal, and New Zealand seemed to like to play and win on these like, shorthanded goals. Sauer with the face off now, won by Carey. Carey chasing. South Africa need to recompose and get an answer now. Look, I mean, I think that New Zealand know what they've got to do. They know firstly they've got to win this game to have any chance of a gold medal. And they know they're going to need a big number. Yeah. They're going to need a sizable oh, goal out. difference. You didn't catch that one, Jeremy. You could have kept that one. So, uh, guys, that goal scored by Nash Hayward-Jones, number nine, and assisted by Ivan Dalmatu, number 20, number 13, sorry. There we go. It's all oh, tries to sneak it around. In comes the shot. Not to be just, I think it either miscued or came off the upright. Can I have to have a look at that one again? But it's uh, it's very physical out there. Yeah. New Zealand won it bad. South Africa won it bad. There goes a stick. Into the, He's getting a misconduct. I love that call. There's nothing better than doing that call. Watch it, watch it. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Misconduct. Misconduct. I think it's because he hit the guy's stick away from him, which is not allowed. Oh, it? okay. Leonard Vimmer uh, on the uh, New Zealand team will spend the next two minutes just feeling very sad, generally. <laughs> Listen, four minutes left on the first period of play. Yes. How did we get here? And I'm not talking about the person who talks to us. <laughs> <laughs> It's gone by so quickly. I mean, oh. I think that South Africa will go look at all of the all of the yeah. questions coming from New Zealand. But they will probably still feel a little bit disappointed that they trail one to nothing. Yeah, they've done so well to keep them up. Their intensity, ha I have not seen South Africa play this great in and the they first period. Immediately, They're Denzel on did a good job of making their mind change today. Great, great see. That that's that's improvement, and that's exactly what Definitely. these people need to see as well. Coach Denzel Fave, of course, uh, looking after the under 18. Ooh. That's a Levine with it now. Levine looking for a shot wide. It's loose and it's off. And it's in. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's on the back. It's on the it's back. It's at the back. It's at the back. It's not a goal. Me and everybody else in this uh, arena thought it was in the net. No, it's at the back. It's at the back. Linesman needs to go fetch I it. wouldn't mind having a look at that uh, that last charge because it looked to me like that, that puck was gone. Almost. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Levine.
Levi at the face-off with Carey. Carey wins it, but they call for a warning. That's the first uh, warning. Levi for South Africa, looking for... South Africa won it. No, then, pass the puck, Levi. Stop being hot dog. <laughs> He had two defensemen, one either side he could have passed to. <laughs> yeah, you're right, bad call uh, by the skipper. Uh, but uh, he will find ways to make amends, believe me. As South Africa look to build really good composure. This, I'm loving this from the South Africans. Gliding across the ice is Levi. We spoke about the fact that he's going to make up for it. Well, he almost did right there, all on his own. Africa getting composure, regrouping now down in his own, up to Levi, but not controlled. Just dumping oh. it out, frustrating, but don't just dump right it. Place, right place, right time for looking. the New Zealanders. Oh. Good defensive yeah. there by Baker. Baker looking to the pass. Levi looking up. Good pass, great shot there. It's opportunity. Yeah, you've got to shoot. Make life difficult for them. Every shot counts because one may just get through. And they're pushing. Two minutes, 20 left. Unfortunately, they just didn't capitalize on that uh, power, power play. play. Yep. Damn. Oh, interception. South Africa also not standing back. I mean, it's one goal down, but uh, they are certainly going to keep coming at the Kiwis. Fortunately, the <laughs> shot down tells a completely different story. Dominant performance from New Zealand. I'm laughing at my sister's comment saying, Nadine, you're so odd. I love the misconduct call. I know. <laughs> Nadine, is, she sometimes gets a bit out of hand, folks. I just want to put it out there. Oh! It's because when you call it, you're just like, you know what? And the, and the like sound effects that you came with as well. <laughs> and ding! <laughs> okay, here we go. South Africa putting a great defensive work there. No, come on. He had his stick wedged between the goalie's legs. That's goalie interference, Ray. How far would you when like she, him to get it through? When she gets like this, folks, not even I can no. control her. It is just hard work. I have to sit next to her for the next... Listen, it's your fault. I was on the ice just now. Yeah. I miss it so much. I want to play again. Yeah. Yeah. Now you see. Now I'm am. See what happens now. So you, it's your you, fault. It's you, all actually. You get cranky it's, like this. It's how did we get this fault? Please, can you tell us what your name is so we can actually talk to you with your name? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Shot comes in into the body of the South Africans. Oh, 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 stolen. And oh, well, that wide. is almost out of the arena. Um, here we go. It's a compass, I think. You what? You needed a compass for that yes, one. Yes, we need a. No. Here we go. New Zealand getting a quick shot through, but deflected by South Africa's number 16. And There's a sniper. Again. I mean, nobody near him, but uh, nonetheless. Oh, intercepted. Lewis with it, I think. South Africa uh, are letting themselves down when it comes to. So close, but yeah, Nico Yako. Nico. <laughs> she gets very excited. And it was a clean hit. Here we go. And the race is on. Let's see what happens. This is going to hurt. Doesn't matter who you are. Oh, that was actually pretty decent. Yeah, quite polite. Take my hat off to them for not killing each other. Composure. Baker. Baker doing a great job. Of nice. Good. It wide. I was going to say good interference. <laughs> Just good niggling. You know they're niggling. Baker's really shown himself today. I think he's uh, doing very well today, especially after that last game. I think these boys enjoy these hits. Oh, come on, tripping. Surely tripping. Come on, he pulled the stage run right out. Riff. Now, I've got to tell you. First period done, but geez. I've got to tell you, first off, it's gone. first period of play is gone. It's one nothing to New Zealand uh, against South Africa. Uh, it's been a disappointing performance from the officials uh, in the first 20 minutes. They have missed some basic, obvious um, uh, infringements and have let it ride. 
Uh, and I mean, let me look at this one. He's down on the ground. Stick comes out, and there we go. Now tell me how that is not at least called. And that was Carrie. Anyway, end of the first period. One goal to no. 22 shots to three. Wow. Talk about a really strong performance from New Zealand. Uh, and rightly so, they sit at uh, a one to nothing lead. In fact, they're probably going to go back inside and go, how oh, is it that we didn't score four or five more goals? <laughs> oh, no. But uh, you know what? Awesome period. Great period. <laughs> Go for the great ref is freaking blind, says somebody on, <laughs> on the message line as well. And how do we get there once to remain anonymous? Once to remain anonymous. Okay, great. Anyway, uh, okay. listen, so of course, uh, that is where we stand at the moment. We've got another exciting action-packed uh, period of play coming up in about 14 minutes and some change from now. Um, the arena, well, the guys are going, they're leaving their seats, they're going to get themselves something to eat or drink out at Grand West Arena. So many um, uh, restaurants and, and places where you can uh, get something to do just that. Uh, so they're off to do that, but this place is humming, it is full, it is exciting even just to look at the crowd. Uh, and of course that one gets underway, uh, that uh, second period of play gets underway in about 13 minutes from now. Sure. I'm just going to do a quick shout out here to our sponsors and then uh, Jeremy's going to have an awesome little interview with our coach here, Mark Dio. So let me just get this out of the way. Sass Cock, thank you very much for your sponsorship. South African Ice Hockey Federation, Western Province Ice Hockey Federation uh, Association. Pedigree Media, Heart FM, Intro, the Ice Station, CompuTicket, DigiCape, the Signage Hub, Peninsula Beverages, Carol Boys, Bloberg Meat, Graphic Thought Design, Euro Steel, Sun Grand West, CFW Fans, Aquila, City of Cape Town, Western Cape Government, Department of Arts and Culture, and the Double IHF. So from me, cheers for now, but uh, I'll be back shortly.
right, folks, uh, welcome back to the uh, Grand West Ice Rink. Uh, it's the, the break between the first and the second periods of play where uh, an epic tussle as New Zealand take a one to nothing advantage into that break, uh, sitting alongside national player, a men's ice hockey uh, uh, player, and, of course, coach uh, Mark Geo. Uh, firstly, Mark, just the standard of play that you would have seen here this past week. What are your thoughts? I thought the, the play was pretty good. Um, the, the teams in the country that are here, they, they bring a high level of hockey. And um, yeah, it's something too enjoyable to watch. You can see the crowds are, are packed and everyone's come out for South Africa New Zealand. It's a great um, rivalry, you know, not just ice hockey, rugby as well. Yeah. Oh. And uh, yeah, I think we're having a lot of fun. There's a lot of hockey players here as well. So on the senior national team guys, and we're having fun watching the game. Well, I mean, you talk about that, uh, the, the, the men's team in action uh, in what, what, three, four weeks from now? Uh, in uh, the uh, the men's, if you like, uh, ice hockey world championships. I mean, obviously you're excited about that. Yeah, yeah. We we're in full steam uh, pre preparing. Uh, we've got a camp in two weeks' time, and then uh, yeah, it's maybe four or five weeks away, and then and then we're good to go. So yeah, right now we're revving at, at, uh, at the bit. Listen, I mean the the the, the, the under 18s. I, I keep describing them as the next generation. They're they're looking at people like you and going, that's where I want to be. You know, I want to play at that level. I'm playing. Uh, sort of at the at the junior level at the moment um, what would you say to them in terms of you know what they need to do what what they need to maintain what they need to do differently uh, if they were to take the step up to to play at the senior men's level yeah so the the, the development for a player is, is like the next 10 years they, they're dedicating their lives to the next 10 years yeah. to be better at hockey because hockey is so different um, you can't just run around on a field. You have to learn how to skate, and that dynamic changes everything. And now you got a puck, and you got the ice, and, and you got other players trying to demolish you. So they're going to be dedicating their lives, learning, uh, uh, keeping up with stick handling, speed, their their power, and their fitness on the ice, um, and then understanding the game. And that's the most important thing. That's what kind of differs uh, good countries from others. A lot of skill, yeah. but the, those that understand the game better, they just play better, and they seem to win competitions. What I'm noticing, um, you know, in terms of how uh, the, the game of ice hockey is played, uh, is obviously, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of physicality around, uh, about it, and and I think from a South African sporting perspective, uh, it's something that the fans enjoy. They enjoy coming to watch uh, that, that kind of physical contest. But the one thing as well is, of course, it's so precise. Uh, it, it's there's almost elements of of dance or ballet you know in it at the same time and i don't mean to make to be flippant about it because it feels to me like there's there's times when the subtlest nuance of a touch or of a of a move on the ice a, a side step a, a a quick flick with the with the stick makes all the difference and that's when you go from physicality and brute strength and you know bashing into the boards to just the 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 the, the finer touches yeah i mean um so so when you see super physical games it, it's not necessarily the great game that you're watching. You want to see that that finesse and that speed and that skill. And when when players start to bring that out, um, that's when the, you, you, they call it the beautiful game. Yeah. Um, and we need to see that a little bit more from from the South African team. They're not really putting it together as yet. I think they still, unfortunately, they're still finding their feet. Even uh, they they right at the end of the competition. But uh, I think the second and third period, uh, well, they're going to have to do something uh, if they want to if they want to come back and level it up and give themselves another chance. Talk to us about quickly just before we go to the 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 start of the uh, of the second period. Just the importance of having. Well, I mean, if I look around now, there's quite a few empty seats. But I mean, literally, this place is humming. At some point, somebody's going to put up the house full signs. How important is that, not only to the players who are playing here tonight, but just to the sport of ice hockey in general? Look, I need a. Uh, um Hockey is like one of those Cinderella sports. Yes, exactly. And, and we need as much exposure as possible. We spoke the other day about you talk to someone about ice hockey and they go, yeah, what? they don't play that here, dude. Uh, and, and that's the kind of thing we need to do. So like having people here, having people in the rink, uh, and especially for players on the ice, they have so many people. Um, sometimes you can't hear the next guy next to you on the ice. Um, and, and that's kind of what we need. And it's such a cool atmosphere. Um, so yeah, I think we need more of it. We need to push it more and you know, we see these sponsors that are that are looking at me in front here um, We need more than we need more people on board. Absolutely It does make a big difference to to take the the concern about who is it that's gonna pay for my, my uh, Ice time or my travel to the next uh, tournament uh, And of course those sponsors make that possible uh, just uh, a final word from you mark in terms of uh, the you know the the um, I guess the the preparedness i know that you're saying you've got a camp that you're going to in a couple of weeks time and then of course you you invite five other countries uh, to south africa um 
it's a massive honor to to wear the green and gold uh, and to you know to play in your own home ground in, in your own backyard yeah it is um I've been doing it for a while, yeah, um, and it never gets old. Uh, every single year, it's an honor. Uh, every single year, we wait for the team list to come on. Like, hopefully, we make it. There's always uh, like youngsters chomping at the bit to like kick me off my spot. Um, but we got a, we got a really good team. We got a really good uh, uh, backing. We got support and coaches, overseas coaches as well. Yeah, so we're good to go. Absolutely. Talking to Mark Gio, of course, uh, part of the uh, the SA men's team. They're going to be in action in a few weeks' time. Uh, and I mean, it'll be World Championship event, World Championship tournament number three. Uh, and I don't know if that's been done too often uh, right here. In fact, right here at the very uh, same uh, Grand West Ice Rink. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for your insights. Good luck to you and the team. Please pass on our best wishes. Uh, and of course, maybe just a final word from you about uh, what the South Africans need to do if they're going to turn this game around tonight. Okay, so basically we, we're allowing New Zealand to come into our end. We're allowing them uh, up the ice. So we're giving them the neutral zone and allowing us to, we're allowing them to come over our blue line. We need to send the puck deep. We need to go. We need to hit them in their end. No one likes to play in their end. I don't care how good the team is. So, yeah, that's what we've got to do. We're going to hunt them down. We're going to knock them off their feet. Here we go. Uh, and he said he knows what he's talking about. Mark Gio, of course, uh, joining us in the commentary position. We're about a couple of minutes away from the start of that second uh, uh, session of play. Uh, it's New Zealand with a very slender one to nothing lead uh, against South Africa. Uh, Mark, thanks very much for your time. we talk to you again soon. Thanks. All right, folks, uh, welcome back to the Grand West Ice Rink. I'll tell you what, this place is like a supermarket express checkout queue at the moment at month end. It is just wall-to-wall -wall bodies. And that's lovely to see. Really enjoying uh, the fact that the, the crowds and the fans have come out in big, big numbers tonight. It's the age-old rivalry, as Mark Joe was uh, telling me, uh, South Africa against New Zealand. It's New Zealand with the one to nothing advantage. And uh, you look at the shot clock maybe in Sheffield, and you would have expected maybe even more goals for New Zealand. The South Africans will just not allow it. Yeah, no, they're doing very good defensive work tonight. Unfortunately, not when they have their power play, they're not doing defensive work, which is what they really need. I mean, they, they had a shorthanded goal scored against them. But um, I'm hoping they're gonna come out firing on all four cylinders, perhaps 12, maybe six, or maybe eight. Hopefully 12. <laughs> But New Zealand are also here to stay. They have got the one on the board. They've got the motivation. They need a security goal now. Carries on the ice, looking to face up. Let's see how it goes. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to drop in a few seconds. Look, I mean, at the same time, as much as the South Africans want to come away with the win, uh, just a little bit of pride sort of restored inside that team. At the same time, New Zealand know that they need the win they are going to be going at this uh, just as hard as the South Africans. Away they go, New Zealand with the possession already in South Africa's potential zone. South Africa managing to clear it now. Up to carry, carry. Ooh, fancy footwork. Jeremy had some of that today. <laughs> Yes, as he fell over his face. Yeah, but that puck was going between your legs. Yeah, I saw those that. moves. I saw yes. those moves. Goodness. I quite liked it when I could hit the, the puck. Oh, well, you're yeah. actually quite good with your stick work, actually. Just got to get the confidence. Once you can skate a bit harder. Over. 
You'll be fine. Okay, here we go. These guys are a whole lot better. Uh, and uh, it's happening out on the, uh, on the ice at the moment. It's a physical encounter. I mean, we knew it was going to be mm. between these two countries and these two teams. Uh, but, oh, stolen. Stolen. And shot comes in. Dealt with there uh, by Joel Gerrard. I say Joel Gerrard, am I right? I think so. I can't see the jersey. It could be. I can't see the jersey either. No, it's the number one. Is it the number one? It's Caleb Price. Caleb Price. Nice there passing there from the South Africans. Accurate. Finding each other. Finding each other's sticks. Good pass to Boy. Boy with a chance. Just losing it again. That's what you call the commentator's curse. I didn't say anything. Normally you're the one who does it. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Space allowed to the New Zealanders. They're in the... Oh, just sneaks through everybody's legs. All the Boy way to the other now. part of the ice. Boy Come looking for it. a way through. <laughs> Cleared out. The danger gone now for, uh, for New Zealand. And they come away with it. Got to close it down. Baker, you get onto the scene first. Ooh, make sure, make interesting. sure. Still, South Africa with the puck. Wanting to spend time... Sauer with it now. Sauer looking. Not getting it out. Stolen away from him. Shot to come. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Got their position right there by the keeper. Waiting for that loose puck and the deflection to come in so they can just put it away. Oh, took out the roof. Good feet, good skill there uh, from the South African 24. Um, Longam Longeni. He's in pursuit. Oh, miscue as well. Ooh, couple of mistakes on of both feet. sides. Good composure there from the South Africans. Baker getting it up. Kanewe has got it. Is it Kanewe? I say. Or is it now? Is the ref called it? No, it's icing. Sorry. What's that? Very exciting times here. Okay, so South Africa facing off in the defensive zone now. Carry at the face-off. Oh, oh, oh. oh slow down. Steady now, steady. And That's the first warning. There we go. Okay, it's kind of won by South Africa. Nicely won there by Ganiwe. Uh, and nicely turned. Oh, Alan T back at you. And Ooh, that was so risky. There was no one protecting him. Those two guys. And Carey. Comes in. Oh, must do. Denied by Ganiwe. We're made not going to see that happen from J uh, Jacob Carey too often. Anyway, just got his stick in the way perfectly there. Oh, sandwich. Carry back Straight with it. Straight to carry the last person you want to give that to. Here comes the shot. It's loose, but kept out. Great job there. Janse van Rensburger really putting up the green wall. Still, along come New Zealand. Lots of oh, fancy footwork there from the referee. Looking for the wraparound Ooh, and so not close. to be. Baker, well done there, getting it out of the house. Good six. Baker getting it up to Goniway. Goniway's feet's got it, but not Lost quite sight getting. of it. Baker still battling it on the boards. Boniface. Goniway getting in there. They're looking for the puck and they've lost it. <laughs> they've lost the puck. It's gone. Yeah, I know that feeling. Believe me. Carry. Carry looking for support. Oh, through the legs. What a move. Nice skill. Inside, outside, and he's gone. By far one of the best players on the New Zealand team. Big shot there. Massive deflection. New Zealand doing a great job of keeping it in there. Defensive works good. Oh. This is a bit of confusion. Where did the puck go? <laughs> Out of bounds. Barcode meeting. I like this linesman, he's very assertive this guy. And that is uh, Kusong Kang yeah, from, from Korea. Korea. The other linesman is uh, Amadol Fossi from the UAE and our referee for tonight, Rasmus Anderson from, from Denmark. Denmark. 
This place is filling up so much. Every time I look at the door, people are coming in all the, the time. Four people are sitting here next to me where they actually won't be able to see past this bench to actually see the other side of the court. But there's just no other seat here. But there's lots on that side. Over there. Big hits. Oh, the door's open. Uh-oh, we don't want to see that again with New Zealand and South Africa. Please close the doors properly. Linesmen must check these things. There you see. I'm being bad. I'm being, like, I'm no. giving them hell. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm trying not to give them hell, but they are letting me give them hell tonight. <laughs> That's so bad Watch this. Have a look at this. In this case. Linton taking a stand, no uncertain terms. He went into the upright of the, gr yeah. of the glass. Across and surely body. that's... Uh, very painful. Very, very sore. I mean, it's not by design. That's just the way it worked out. I'm reading Tinsel fans' uh, comment. In this case, more like a QR code meeting yes, exactly. because the referee's decisions have been scrambled. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, South brilliant. Africa. They're managing to keep it in. Can they get a shot off and get some Looking scoring? for an offload and behind the players. Levi getting there first, but New Zealand managing to get puck and get it out. The Samson. chase is on now. Tia, he's still trying to work out why he got sent to the Sidman the last time. Levi, Levi. he'll start the build. And Van der Best has him. Van der Mera. How on earth? That was a great pass. No danger there for... Uh, They've got to get more shots. They've only had three shots. Yeah. I mean, as we keep saying, we've said all tournament long, you don't shoot, you don't score. And sometimes you don't shoot necessarily with the intention to score. You shoot with the intention to cause panic. The score will come. The score will take care of itself. Here comes New Zealand. Miscue at the crucial moment. Boy with it now, boy. Oh, just getting closed down. New Zealand managing to get it. Koptev dumping it down by the side to carry. Carry back on the, towards the net, but not quite on net. This is going to hurt somebody. Boniface. McDonald. McDonald oh, getting some skill good moves. From McDonald. Up to Koptev. Koptev with a shot, shot wide. In. Thanks for coming and goodbye, says Nico Janssen from Rendsburg. Bohim down to carry. Carry doesn't quite get control. Back with Carey. Carey, quick shot. And a quick shot again with a deflection. Well looked after there by Nico Janssen van Rensburg. Great moves. Great skills. Jeremy, you've got a lot wow. of catching up to do. Are, are your legs quick yet? Are my legs what? Quick. Quick legs. You know that he's a goalie and his surname's quick. Must have quick legs to be a goalie. Yes. What you see? What? Look, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to spend most of my time on the ice anyway, so... You wanted to worry, I just throw my body in front of the whole thing. <laughs> South Africa. Oh, oh, what a shot, and it's still loose. Looked after there by the South African defensive zone. Defensive zone. Defensive team. <laughs> Up the boards. Quick pass. They got it out, but Carey is there on the pressure. He Carey does. is just a demon. Looking for a way oh, through, what not a to save. be. It was more likely he was going to go that way. Jansen van Riesburg guessed right. Carry with it. Quick drop pass through his legs. Koptev with it now, but South Africa manages to get it, but stolen back by McDonald. Still all of the pressure. Shot, and it's loose, and it's up. But ca Yo, into the glove. Beautiful save there by Nico Jansen van Riesburg. That wow. is crazy. I tell you what, they've had a good four or five, I mean, in the last minute four or five chances let's have a look at this one here Nadine Sheffield rebound it doesn't quite rebound, get on it should Back. be a goal up and over and he, and he just chips it into it. the into the keeper's gloves mm. South Africa come away with it a little bit of space finally in the faces of the New Zealanders. New Zealand doing well to push him wide. Stain going down below. Roger on the point. Lots of hassling. Puts loose. Linton. 
Still, though, if the South Africans are looking, you know the, the hassle is coming, the niggle is coming from the New Zealanders. Nice! Gets past him. Now, what to do with it? Alpatain with the shot. Shot comes in, dealt with. It's uh, Caleb Price. Let's have a look at this. Albertain and yeah, whenever it's bobbling through the air like that, you've just got to believe. Levi at the face off now. One by New Zealand there. Eh? Alamatu still got it. Still causing problems. Past there, the shot a and the score. Eventually, Alamatu. The damn wall broke. Number 19 from New Zealand getting there in the net. Beautiful passing there. Great work from Samson Johnson Middleton. Putting New Zealand up onto two to nothing. And they've been very pressuring. They're wanting that and they're definitely out here. South Africa have got to come back now. They've got their security goal, does New Zealand. So let's just see South Africa. Can they answer? They've been building, they've been working hard, the defensive work is hard, they've just got to get more offensive and get some more shots on. You know, I'm loving watching the body language of the two teams, and particularly the South Africans, they conceded that second goal, and they were talking to each other in terms of, you could see how they were sort of supporting each other, shot to cap, Janssen van Rensburg knocks it away. They are not dropping their heads. They are not giving up here at all, the South Africans. No, they're doing great. You've just got to keep it up and get that momentum back. For New Zealand, it's only half the job done. They need to win this one, number one. Number two, they need to win it by a really big margin. I'm going to say sort of five goals. Uh, four or five goals will, will probably do it. What a nice attempt to hit, but not quite getting it on Levi. He jumped out of the way in time. South Africa with possession at the back. Long pass to Van der but getting it on his skates. What? Are you okay? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> My watch buzz. And I was opening it up, pushing a button. It was a message from you from I don't know when, and I put something in. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, carry on. <laughs> Technology sucks sometimes. <laughs> That's an icing call. You are so funny sometimes. No. Now, this is a really good goal. I mean, give them due, a credit where it's due. Great offload and beautiful in position and a great goal. Well done, New Zealand. Very. That was a beautiful setup, beautiful play. That was like textbook. So they just have to win, mm. New Zealand. Mm. Just have to come away with the win, any score. I'm not going to say yes or no, goal. Jeremy. And they've done it. That's the third. Just under 10 minutes left in this uh, second period. South Africa are going to have to regroup and come back really hard. Nico Janssen van Rentberg has had done exceptionally well. I mean, his shot saves, I mean, he's had 31 shots and only let in three. He really held it together for a while, but now it's just coming through. South African team have to support him more. The defense are not picking up that third man. Here we go. So they have to winning that face off. Coming again. Oh, Great nicely work. done. Good defensive work by the South Africans. But they've actually added another um, assist there to that last goal. 
So Max Simpson, number 21, got the goal. Assisted by Jacob Carey, number 14, and assisted by Jack Lewis, number 22. Good job by the South African team, managing to get that putt just off his skate and went back into the New Zealand defensive zone. But New Zealand managing to pick it up and now dumped it into the South African zone. It is for icing, but no, he's pulled it off. New Zealand won the race. Keeping it in, there's going to be a penalty now on number 11. And he's getting it for tripping. So that's number 11 for New Zealand. Marcus McDonald going to go sit in the thin bin for two minutes. Lots of support here on the uh, live stream. Sorry, we haven't been having much chance to come and chat to you with the intense game. But uh, lots of uh, support from the South African side, people watching from all over the country, as well as a lot from the New Zealand team family and friends from all over New Zealand. Be great if the South Africans take advantage of this power play. Uh, with eight and a half minutes left on the clock in the second period. Uh, as New Zealand look to just stretch their lead three to nothing already the score but again New Zealand are shorthanded and yet they're up in the you know attacking zone and I mean they are properly up in the attacking zone there's nobody back home at the moment for New Zealand they're doing a great job they keep the pressure on as well somehow they just managed to keep up possession so they're going to have it now but again it just tossed away Shot, save, pressure. Okay, held it down. Good job. Regroup. See if they can get one up. But uh, seven and seven minutes, 55 seconds left in this period. One minute, 20 left on the penalty kill. Sure. The volume's gone down in the crowd. The volume has gone down. I think the, the local fans coming to terms with the fact that uh, it's... Uh, Seen a two goal blitz from uh, New Zealand to give them that 3 0 advantage. There we and go, I mean, Baker. Really good skill from the New Zealanders. Kerry stealing it under his nose. Shot comes in oh. off the face, stick, whatever. Uh, of the uh, South African uh, 11, it was um, Ulrich van der Westhuizen who uh, was in the firing line. Ooh. Ouchie. You don't want to put it on carry skates, he'll no, score. Not a chance. Not in front of the net. That's what I got taught from a young kid. Not in front of the net. Oh. You don't pass in front of the net. That one hit the, went straight out. Almost shattered the glass at the skate shop. <laughs> Shall we? the pucks going back to six. Alright, so, so New Zealand have got 43 seconds left of a penalty kill, but they're in South Africa's defensive zone. South Africa managing to win it. Let's see if they can get a comp. And they still just don't carry on with it. They've just got to get possession. Control. He's dumped it down. It's on the goalie. Okay, so it's down there. Now they're in the attacking zone. Exactly. Good start. Now they need to Get possession, work it around, pull the goalie, and get a shot or two. But they're taking it up. Fine. 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 Sorry, guys. I didn't see what the reason for that was. But anyway, it is what it is. Africa with possession. There we go. Composed control. Oh, nicely Stolen interfered. Away there. Brilliant work by the New Zealand number 13. Good niggle there from Ivan Domito. In comes the shot. South okay. Africa still with possession. Across oh. the face of goal. Take it easy. 10 seconds. Oh. Just oh. took his eye off it to Tiat. And uh, with that uh, little. Little mistake, uh, it's uh, all square now, five against five. Okay, South Africa getting it back behind the net, let's see. Up the boards, getting the pressure directly, Patterson. But pass just to a New Zealand player, not his own. That I think is going to be one of the, the massive learning areas, learning parts of this tournament for the South Africans, is to spend time on the puck uh, ah. and then... 
and yeah. then and then to find possession or rather find your players and to keep that position. Shot comes in. Thank you to the uh, person. I'm sorry, I can't read your name, but it says thank you. Thank you for letting me know what it was. Reason he said it was an offside, and they shot it after the whistle. So that's okay. why I went back. I didn't actually see that, so thank you. This is hockey music. Linton. Both number eights there. Oh, get it down, Ref. <laughs> Boniface is keeping it down and looked after there by Nico Jansen von Rensburg. Stolen out the air. Five minutes, 53 seconds. Up to 38 shots to six. Wow, I'll tell you what, it is just relentless. Boniface. From, uh, New Zealand. They are doing a fantastic job. They are here to win this. They've got three goals. South Africa are going to have to come back really hard. Down and up, out of bounds. Great save there. Sure. Jeremy, there's a lot of New Zealand fans across from us. And a whole bunch of South Africans all over the place. Yeah, oh, it's okay. Welcome to South Africa. We really don't mind at all. It's really good to see the New Zealand fans. We had the New Zealand women's team here a short while ago. Oh! In Sheffield. <laughs> Very naughty of you. We got a letter from the New Zealand. Oh, this me just sneaking past uh, the right hand upright. Nico Jansen van Rensburg stretching out his glove, but it went past it by then. New Zealand Here again with a shot. Small little backhand, but just wheels past. New Zealand are still on the attack here. Showing the possession, showing the skills. Too Lewis much working space. it. Too much they're space, not attacking, too much they're not giving him. And it's open. But a save, great save there by Nico Jansen van Rensburg. South Africa are not putting the pressure on. They're just posting behind the guy and not giving any attack. Get your stick on his stick. Yeah, no, there's just too much space. Poke check, skate, move your legs, get going. At the break, Mark Gio was saying that we're allowing the New Zealanders too much space, too much time. And that was a great example of exactly what he was talking about. Way too much. Baker, Baker with it, but stolen away by and Simpson. And just taken away, just like that. Shot comes in, it's a... Oh, and there was a back door waiting. <laughs> Again, across the front. Luckily, no one there. But South Africa have got it out now. Can they go? Boy. He's going to look for a way through. Stolen back from... Or rather, stolen back by New Zealand. Nicely done, South Africa. Just getting in the way... So nice Baker, landed. good juice. Come on, Baker, let's go. Taken to Levi. Levi just getting it taken away by Lewis. Levi looking to get back. Just that last Tries touch. to get through, but not quite. But he's skating, he's still got. Levi taking it through, getting a shot. Shot to come. And it's and a it's goal! goal! So that's got on the board. Levi did that all by himself. Holy moly, look at the excitement on them. They needed that inspiration. That's four minutes left, and they've just changed it. Have a look at this. This was one of the goals Huge. of the tournament. Bullet, thank you for coming. Right and get yourself a new net. Why don't you? Whew. Great job there by the Levi. This place needs Whew. a new roof because the fans inside it have Yuval. just lifted it. Yuval Levi, the captain, just showing them his leadership there. Great skills. So quickly. No, not yet. Um, not oh, the, yet. <laughs> it's a long letter we got from the New Zealand fans. And we are so grateful to them for their kindness. It doesn't work that way, folks. When you come visiting us, we are the ones who are supposed to host you. Uh, but I'm going to read out this letter at the end of this period of play. But wow, South Africa tails up at the moment. Turn Look for another. Night. Oh, and a chance. Still a chance. Look for your point, guy. He's got a shot. Shot to come. But just looked after there by the number nine. Carry. Carry's got it now. He doesn't want to get South Africa. Can't let him shoot, but Nico's looked after. Nico Jansen van Rensburg 
you're going to have to find a whole lot more space around him. I'm getting cramps in my back, dude. <laughs> you're getting cramps in your butt. Back. On your back. The excitement and the tension. <laughs> wow. I thought that was a bit too much information for me. No, not in your back. Okay. You should have after your fall on the yeah. ice earlier. I do. A massive blue mark. Okay, here we go. The chase is on. Oh! Good stop and a fumble, but. Doesn't help if you're sitting on your bum. <laughs> shot to come. Big South shot through. Africa. Can they still get it? He's still got possession, but Carey just leans on him. Oh, across the face again, looking for somebody, something, anything. Just touch it. New Zealand also fumbling a bit. Carey, but he's the one composed, looking for the pass. Carey's the danger shoot. man. Oh, what a save! You are kidding me. How on earth? He knew it was coming. Carey doesn't pass. Carey shoots. Yeah. What a beaut. That was a rocket ship. Carey unleashed it. Nico Jansen van Rensburg said, thank you so very much. Nico Jansen van Rensburg, MVP, my, my prediction for the South Africa You think? Team. Could be. Best player for the team. Carey for the New Zealand team. Wow. South Africa. South Africa are going to make things very difficult for New Zealand. It's not over yet. And the South African slogan for the men's team is, we're not done yet. Shot to come. So Out the way, why don't you? I'm hoping that it's going to turn over for South Africa so they can get a win. But not to sound against New Zealand. I love you guys a bit. But I can't help but kind of little bit support my home team. <laughs> And again, underdog at this point. But I'll try my damnedest to stay unbiased here. Once she gets started, folks, we can't stop her. Okay, <laughs> it's not even I can stop her. Officially not official. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Move. Looking for wheel, a way through. Wheel, wheel. Boy, just getting shut down. Shot to shot. Oh! Oh my word! Don't give up. Keep going. I've got to tell you that uh, Caleb Price was very surprised. Here we go. That was offside again. He didn't know it was offside. Caleb Price was just fighting for survival I'm at that moment. I'm missing the offside call oh, because I'm so side. excited. I'm, like, yeah. Jerry, I'm quite, I'm quite sad, eh? Why are you sad? Because um, you don't owe me any fines. Not one. Not one fine. I've had such a good uh, championship. Okay, here we go. Still. South Africa. We need to support him. against more. the boards. I'm trying to get it down there, but no one's supporting him. Baker with it now. Baker back to Van der Mera, I think it is. Or Jansen van Rensburg. No, I mean, I see. I'm just going to go out and say it. that was not smart ice hockey. No. There was a better way to deal with that situation. Here we go. South Africa winning that face off, but stolen away by Lewis. What is he going to get? Hand pass, okay. Good song. Can't help but love it. Yeah, no, they play some really good music here. Okay, so face off outside in the neutral zone. South Africa are changing their line. We have Carey facing up here against Levi. Loving the crowd's oh. comments, yeah. There we go. It's uh, Levi as he tears up the ice. Oh. 
And then the opposite number, Kerry, comes, shot, comes in, and it's a goal. Did they really? What? What? But good goal. These guys are doing it in textbooks now. Really good loving goal, good setup. up Kerry, of course. Loving the structure. Okay, exactly, good structure, very composed. Beautiful pass by Kerry, up to Samson, oh, and just top shelf. Beautiful. Sheffield, look at the South Africans, they are good and ready to go. Managing to keep it out there's zone, New Zealand going in for the chase. Quick legs there by Dalama too. And he's managed to steal it away, but he's on the goal. Now, South Africa, player advantage. Here they come, up the ice, looking for a shot. Not probably the kind of intensity they wanted. Shot to go! Oh, just missed. Just missed. That last goal scored by Max Simpson from uh, New Zealand, number 21, and assisted by Jacob Carey, number Absolutely. 14. Absolutely. Carey making the difference there. Good pass Stealing it Carey. away from the South Africans, getting it away, uh, and then seconds. sneaking it in. 40 seconds left in the second period. Uh, where has the time gone? Uh, it flies when you're having fun. It does. 4-1 right now to New Zealand. 43 shots to seven. Now, oh, help me. <laughs> These icing calls. Shot. Oh, what a great goal. Good setup New there, Zealand, of course. What an amazing. Three of them looked like they were just completely unmarked. Unmarked by the well, South African defense. Certainly it was Simpson who was entirely unmarked. He could have made himself a cup of tea before he took his shot. Teal Higgins saying, let's go New Zealand. That's my Nash potato. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. No, she didn't. Oh. That... Oh, and that's the end of the period, but that looked what? like quite a hit. The ref didn't call anything there. I don't know if there was anything there. Lost an edge. Wow. Jeremy? Okay. Listen, before we uh, go too far away, uh, let me just quickly give you the, the, the wrap-up here. 4-1 is what the, the team score is as we head into the, uh, the break. It's been a, another action-packed period of play, South Africa getting onto the board uh, but it's New Zealand who are very much in control of this one uh, with 20 minutes to go, the gold medal is calling uh, for New Zealand, of course all they need to do as far as I'm told, uh, is to come away with the win on this particular uh, game uh, and then they can pack that gold medal in their bag, really grace to see all of the, uh, uh, the fans here today uh, and certainly a uh, uh, the right way, the appropriate way for this uh, tournament to come to a conclusion. I do just want to read this to you because we have been receiving little sort of packages of sweeties and uh, cards and letters uh, from the uh, New Zealand fans, which is so nice. They say to the team behind the teams, thank you for hosting us. We've seen the views from the top of the table, uh, felt the sand beneath our feet, Camps Bay, uh, summed it up at Safari and a run around the waterfront VNA in your beautiful country. Uh, from our room service ladies, uh, the buffet bar, our bus drivers, Uber drivers, everyone has treated us with kindness and welcomed us with smiles. SA, until next time. Good luck. Uh, your, your what? Your next round, Rob. Oh, your next round. Third, Third time. A dream. Dream. All right. Uh, huge thanks to medics and staff at Christian Barnard. Memorial Hospital. Hospital looking after our much missed uh, ICE team member Josh Dean. Memories made. Thank you again, family, friends, fans, and Team New Zealand. So nice. Thank you guys so, so much. That's amazing. We love hearing the support from the New Zealanders and everyone around the world. It makes it, it makes Aki a pleasure to interact with you guys and spread the love. So from my side, I just have to do the official work and send out the thank you so much for these sponsors to everybody that was putting in contributions here to this uh, tournament. It's been fantastic. SASCOC, South African Ice Hockey Federation, Western Province Ice Hockey Association, Pedigree Media for this amazing streaming, great production team, cameraman and everybody, and of course, Jeremy. It's been
been fantastic, thank you. Absolutely. And Heart FM intro, the iStation Compu Ticket, DigiCave, the Signage Hub, Peninsula Beverages, Carol Boys, Bloberg Meat, Graphic Thought Design, Euro Steel, Sun Grand West, CFW Fans, Aquila, City of Cape Town, West Cape, Western Cape Government, and the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, and of course, all governed by the IIHF. Thank you all. Jeremy? Yeah, we're not done yet. We've still got the one more period of play to come. Before we do that, we've got the highlights from the second period. And then don't go anywhere, Nadine Sheffield, uh, because there is a video of me making my <laughs> debut on the ice. Sure, we'll see you shortly.
are bending my knees. No. No, 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 no chair, no chair. Okay, I'm ready to do a link before I fall over. I just can't do the link holding onto the board. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not too sure who, who started this. How did we get here? How did we get here? He started us. He sent us a message on the message board and he said, World Jet Big Talk, get himself onto the ice. I'm on the ice. This is the first time in my life. I don't mean to, but I'm moving forward. Um, I'm on the ice for the very first time. I've got so much padding. I feel like I weigh an extra 20 kilos. I am moving forward on my own. I mean, yeah. uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyway, Nadine Sheffield, John O'Berger on the ice with me as well. Very comfortable on the ice. Uh, and it'll take me not long, 15, 20 years uh, to get to this level. Uh, but uh, I can feel like things moving underneath me. Already I moved away from them. That's how much out of control I already am. Uh, anyway, of course, anyway, of course we've, we've not yet fallen. Give me a chance. Um, big game tonight, of course, South Africa against New Zealand. It's the final game of the Under-18 World Championships. And got to move. The message, the instruction was bend your knees, which I'm doing, and just... I'm bending the knees, I promise you, I'm bending my knees. I must push. They want me to stand on one leg. Are they mad? Crazy. Nadine says, push with one leg, just go. Wait for one. <laughs> Come Jono, help him out, help him out. There you go, there you go. Bring it in. Use them, use them wisely. Get the pressure on, hold his hand tight. Now push. One leg, there you go. Another one. You got it, push. Now you've got your confidence, right? Dick helps. Swing. Sweating like That's a steam engine. And you're not even wearing full kit. It's a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> and he's on his bum. Well done, Jeremy. Can I just turn onto your knees? Okay, guys, so I mean, obviously a whole lot more difficult. Oh, you are kidding. Uh, ah. <laughs> you see, I'm not going to be that. Always like a little bit of ice with my drinks. Uh, and thanks to Jono Berger for that. As like I said, uh, this is a whole lot more difficult than it looks, but it's lots of fun. And if you think this is the last time you see me on the ice, you are mistaken. I'll be back for more. Awesome stuff, man. Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. On my knees. Okay. And now? Get up. One leg up. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get
and let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright. Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like. And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time, just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life. And uh, welcome back to it. It's the final period of play in this very exciting, very entertaining uh, ice hockey clash between New Zealand and South Africa. New Zealand full value for their 4-1 lead. Uh, so much dominance. They've just owned this game. 44 shots to 7. And I tell you what, the South Africans are not going backwards. They are not going to just roll over and play dead. No. <laughs> Sorry, at the same time, uh, I'm just looking at some of the comments coming through uh, from my last ice hockey, or, ice, or just skating. Um, guys, so let me just quickly tell you, um, I have never skated up to today. No, never. Yeah. Never been on the ice, uh, and so it was lots of fun. Nadine Sheffield has got no idea how much of a problem she's inherited now. She's going to get me in, uh, in skating fitness mode. Laurie Sherman says she's watching from the USA. She's grateful and thankful for the live stream and for the announcing. Thank You're you. very welcome, Laurie. Thank you. My point was going to be uh, just before we got to, or oh, I got distracted, was that the South Africans uh, were uh, going to go tilted. And I've got to tell you, today, easily their best performance. Such composure uh, and intensity. They spent some time in the sit, but make no mistake. Uh, but for once, they are playing each other. They are working as a team. They are looking to minimize mistakes. The mistakes will keep coming, but they are looking to minimize those mistakes. They're looking to, to get some good results, and that goal from their skipper, uh, Evil Levi, was absolutely top draw stuff. World-class goal, uh, and uh, st uh, fully deserves uh, a place on the scoreboard. Of course, as I say, uh, it's New Zealand 4-1. Uh, they lead as we get into this third period of play. Sorry, Jeremy, I wasn't um, near the camera, nor were you. Do you know if they played your video during the period break? Well, that's what I'm talking about. These guys are talking. So did, they, did they play it? They played it, yeah. I, Alan I, I didn't see it asking, he says, uh, thinks it's easily escaping. Jeff Coach says, we well done, Jeremy. Brilliant, well done. Alan, I mean, did you not see it between periods? I don't know if it was played, but if not, go to the beginning of the video. It's there. It's about 11 minutes. Almost half the period. <laughs> but Jeremy's entertaining. No, I was enjoying it. I mean, uh, I, I think that um, there's a lot of work to be done, which is why I've got a coach like Nadine Sheffield. I'm not coaching you. You're coaching me. No. You've inherited me. You will have to there's adopt me. There's plenty of people to help. Anyway, let's watch this game. 4-1. South Africa fighting hard here. Baker coming through, but getting shut down. How did we get you? Says they did play. The oh, game. they did play. Okay, thank you. So, thank you. So Alan has to have watched it, surely. Anyway. Maybe you missed it. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! What a shot, but wide. Bullet. Just by the way, we've got a uh, new goalie in for South Africa. We've got uh, Connor Gilbert, number 20, playing in the goals now. He's getting his debut for the national team here. That's a nice touch. I like that. Take nothing away from the amazing work done by uh, Nico Janssen van Rensburg. No, nothing at all. This is a chance for him to get some experience now. Connor gets some much-needed ice time for these games to grow him in the sport as well. And he's a good guy. 
Very good guns. Here we go, South Africa. Managing to just get it up, but ooh, bomb. That was quite an intense. Uh, that was a serious check. New Zealand are putting that pressure on. They are keeping it down. Yeah, exactly. Here Ohim. comes the shot. Big shot. Kept wide. Out of bounds. Did it go direct or was it just lifted? Oh, he's getting a penalty for delay again. It wasn't deflected. It was straight out. Delay of game. Who's that? Number 11 for South Africa getting into the Sinburn for delay of game, Marcus McDonald. Oh, uh, no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong side. <laughs> Poor Marcus, his ears are burning wherever he's sitting there on that New Zealand bench. Oh, no, he's actually standing right there. Still, though, uh, it's work to be done by the South Africans. <laughs> Great skill there from Kerry. That guy is amazing to watch. Pleasurable. It's the same as watching uh, number seven, Yam, from uh, yes. Hong Kong. Looking for a way through, looking for a wraparound, looking to put the new goalie under a bit of pressure. Connor Gilbert in the uh, in the South African goals. He's taken over for Nico Janssen from Rensburg just to give. Uh, Gilbert an opportunity at oh. the very highest level. Great save there, but South Africa managing to jump over their goalie. Big shot. Great stop there. Wowzers. And a wake up South there, Africa. But carries on his tail. Yeah. Oh, where was the referee? Did you see that? Here we go. Carry stole it away. Carries on his way up. Not too sure. I don't think it was tripping. Was it tripping? It was offside. just congestion. Good call. Clearly offside. What were you going to do? Did you think it was tripping? Could have been, yes, I think so. Okay, we're going to have a quick look at it. Here we go. Maybe not. No, I think he went down on his no. own. He was trying to put his body against the, the New Zealand player and then just fumbled, yeah. fumbled. Here we go, the man with the long hair, Sebastian Chamberlain. Nadine Sheffield's favourites in this tournament. <laughs> not. Here we go. Barry up to Linton. Linton bombs it around the back of the boards. South Africa, all of a sudden, are in the New Zealand red zone. Let's see what happens. Just need to hold on to it. They did well for a period there, but uh, it's New Zealand who come away with it. Looking for the wraparound. Offload comes. Shot in. Wow, that bobbled, I think, right over Connor Gilbert. <laughs> the fans are making themselves heard. They are. So, um, how did we get there? Here, there. He's yeah. asking about Connor, how old he is. And he's saying he's looking a lot shorter than the Nico, obviously. So, Connor Gilbert is born in 2005. Makes him 18. 1.8 meters. So, that's 5 foot 7. Connor Gilbert is 1.8. Mm. Okay, he's quite short for a goalkeeper then, eh? Because aren't they quite big? No, they don't have to be. Okay. Look at Ryan. Oh, good point, yes. No, Ryan, it's, it's Ryan Boyd is like Spider-Man. being big and small in a goal. It's all dep it depends on how you train. Um... Anyway, so Nico Janssen von Rensburg is 1.81, which puts him at 5 foot 11. Okay, so they're very close in terms what of height. What did you say you were? Height? 187. So you're about 6 foot 2. No, man, you said 1.9 is 6 foot 2. 1.85 is 6 foot 1. Okay. 1.68. Okay, now they, they've got that. No, yeah, 1.85, 6 foot 1. Sorry, guys. Terrible conversions here. Big pass down. Going to be an icing call. Guys, my coach, she's, she's very specific, uh, specific about heights and all of those measurements. So, those, I'm going to be quite a tall goalkeeper, if you realize that. Uh, I think so, yes. You've got to find you the right length. My, my approach will be to lie across the whole goal line. 
it's not going to help you get to the top post. <laughs> do you know that goalies do the splits, right? That also is something that's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe intentionally, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe by accident. You'll have to get a crane to get me out of here. <laughs> okay, let's have a look here. Uh, South Africa with position, working their way back up from behind the poles. Got to tell you, decent uh, vision oh. on that one, just not to be. Jacob Kerry cleaning it up and off they go again. Now that puck was gone for days. Boniface chasing it down. Boy putting the pressure. Boy's got to put more pressure. Use those feet. Yes, that's the pressure. That's the one. Now you got him. Now get the puck. But no one to pass to. Kerry there cleaning up the scraps and away he comes. Such a menace. Such a menace is the skipper, Jacob Kerry. Sniper in the house again on the New Zealand side. Two of them on him. Got some support now, but South Africa coming away, but stolen away by New Zealand. They're still looking to pass. Chipped it over. Looking for the shot. In it comes. Great save there by Connor. Connor. Gilbert. You could actually see his eyes just looking at the <laughs> ball and, as, and catching it. Did you just say the ball? The what? Did you just say the ball? I didn't say the ball. I said look at his eyes. And just looking at the ball. Did I say ball? I'm not sure you did. Did I say ball, Replay, guys? Replay, come on. We've got to find out. Somebody who's watching the stream, did he say ball? <laughs> Dean Sheffield's just looking for trouble. Did, did I say ball? I'm How sure did we I didn't. get here saying goalies have gotten a lot taller lately, at least in the NHL? You see a lot of them. Six, six, foot, six, 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 six seven. seven. That's tall. That's huge. That's like our goalie, Ashley Bach. He was huge. Nobody says I said ball. Everybody says I said They haven't gotten there yet. Let's see what they say. <laughs> there we go. Just a sneaky no little icing, sticky there. No so they there. chase it. Gaya. Okay, he's looking. Oh, <gasps> what on earth was and that? And it's almost. Oh, what a big That was defensive. messy. Woo, there's lots going on here. It's getting rough, but 12 minutes left. 4 to 1 still. A lot can still happen. Sabrina, we're going to discount that uh, comment from you because you are conflicted, so we're not going <laughs> to... I thought he said goal, not ball. That's what I said. I said goal. Mm -hmm. You guys are just... Uh, no, I even say ball. <laughs> you don't count. I mean, how on earth are you sending that message in the first place? I'm not. There you go. New Zealand have done another one. Goal. Number five at 11 minutes of... 34 seconds left in the game. They've just put another one behind. Oh, so unfortunate. Very sloppy defence, uh, to be fair. Uh, South Africa just not clearing their lines. And New Zealand having more than one bite at the cherry. Baker did his job. South Africa tried, but then they just snuck it in. And then wide open there. And then Connor didn't know that that puck wasn't underneath him. No support there. And just put away by number 13 from New Zealand. Ivan Delamatao. And then it was assisted by Joel Patterson, number 16. Trip, trip. Lewis with it. Lewis getting through, but stealing that, number nine. Well, anyway, he's got quick feet here. Very quick feet, low center of gravity. And another one. Oh. Not cleared away, not dealt with properly there by uh, Gilbert. Uh, as it runs free and uh, easy enough strike there for for, uh, for New Zealand. They take the lead now, 6-1. Great job Victor by the Fisher New Zealand says, team. apparently said ball. Ooh. I don't think it's definitive. People sometimes they hear things <laughs> because ball is close to goal. Ball. Oh. Don't take that because that's from somebody who doesn't speak English. Here we go. Uh, it's New Zealand. Snapshot. Quick, quick, quick. And New Zealand are chasing a big win here. Still 11 minutes left on the clock. 6-1. And their friendly game, they won 
What was the score for South Africa against uh, Thailand? I want to say 7 1 as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Malangani going down, Barry still coming away with it. Oh, Goniwe just like trying, he got the puck away and then he just got hit, but he got back up quick. Simpson, Simpson with it now. Simpson going comes around. away with it. McDonald and shot comes in and it's a great goal. goal. Simpson, number 21, I would hopefully say unassisted, but anything could happen there. Great save, I mean great goal there by him. Wow. Jack Lewis, number 22, getting the other goal, and Oliver Linton, number 8, getting the number 6. Have a look at this one. So Beauty the seventh goal. goal. I mean, on the tight angle, that love to see it from the uh, the reverse angle, because that would have gone between the goalie and the post. Sure. They're having a timeout now. 10 minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. <laughs> I think it was called by, by South Africa. Sure. Coach Denzel for Wade just wanting to uh, settle them down. That's a nifty way to put the puck down on the ice. Let's have a look at it. Here's the reverse angle. Just great. There was just power. Uh, and I mean, your body can only move so fast. And unfortunately, Connor Gilbert's body couldn't move any faster than that. All right. <laughs> 51 shots to seven. Jeez. Our South Africa will do well now just to keep their composure, keep their shape. They're up against a really determined, very good New Zealand side. But they will want to keep some respectability to the scoreline. I tell you what, 10 minutes of play still to come. And New Zealand just having it their own way at the moment. South Africa allowing too much space. In comes the shot. Oh! Not to be, and I mean that for me is the, the key indicator. If it doesn't even fall for you in open play, then you've got to know you're up against something here. So close, yet so far. And they tried to turn it over, but it looks like he keeps slipping on his shoelace. I think the shoelaces are too long and he keeps tripping on them. What is this that you uh, brought us to eat here? It's a cookies and cream Kit Kat from our New Zealand uh, bribers. <laughs> no, they are New Zealand support. Love them very much. Thank you so much for the treats. We do appreciate them. are definitely doing a great job seven to one nine and a half minutes just under in this have last look at, period have a look at Conor Gilbert here it goes around the back oh they don't show the whole thing dives across the the goal mouth you're learning some more stuff great save there well looked after by Conor I think Jeremy just fell in love. Um, if any of the New Zealand families are listening, he found love with a cookies and cream Kit Kat. Oh my word. This is fantastic. Okay, anyway, let's so get back. So how did we get here is clearly on your side, saying wobbly bobbly puck, definitely not ball, and then saying cookies Thank and you. cream also. Thank you. I, I don't bobbly. believe him. Uh, because of I don't believe him. I definitely did not say ball. <laughs> You're just trying in, to get out of getting the heat of the moment. Beer. In the heat of the moment, people hear things, and you, you know that you get excited. <laughs> you have a track record of getting excited, and then nobody can uh, stop you. It's my passion for the sport, Jim. That's okay. I don't mind. But uh, all right, here we go. New Zealand. Work to Down be done. in the corner, South, South Africa. Africa. Pretty nifty work there. We like talking in unison here. 
up to Allen. And Allen, big shot, but not going deflected. through. Please help me here. I just have one hand, and I'm not managing to get it done with one hand. We really need to work on these handless mics next time. Yeah. <laughs> we need one of those like headset mic things. <laughs> Any sponsors? <laughs> here we go. New Zealand going to look after it behind the net. Barry dumping it up through the side. Going out their zone, which is what they needed. Boys picked it up. Boys looking to break it out. But two New Zealand guys putting the pressure straight on him. They're closing them down. And they're there. And South Africa are not helping support. Still got the puck South Africa does. Quick pass up. Sauer, Sauer dumping it down to his teammate. Boy should be chasing it. Sauer's offered it like an absolute oh, bullet. Oh, he tried, but he missed that hit. Just went over the top. Patterson with it now. Patterson trying to get a shot, but getting denied. He's still got possession, though. Great stick work by these what New Zealand players. I love watching work. it. Bohem, big shot and just kept out there by Connor Gilbert. Great job there. Now Jack Robbie saying he said goal for sure. Thank you, Jack. <sighs> Here we go. See. Can we start a poll? Well, I think we've answered the question. Um, if you call a cricket ball, if I, next time it's all over. <laughs> now that I would love to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant. <laughs> South Africa getting and it Charmaine up. And Charmaine says I'm going to just own it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda. I mean, I think basically overwhelmingly uh, in support of supposedly this mistake. Connor doing a great job of keeping it out there. Quick work on the floor. And that, but I, what I like is how New Zealand are just it's carry. relentless, taking it it's away. Carry with a wraparound. Connor's managed to keep it out, it looks like, and there's a lot of pushing and shoving here. Linesman trying to get in between them. Connor is still sitting there wondering where is that puck? It's under my bum, but it's outside the goals, which is exactly what we need. And we got a high stick call here on Sauer. Michael Sauer is going to go sit for two minutes on a high stick. Agreed. He hit the guy in the head with his high stick. I think it more more intentionally than not, according to my. Wow, great skill to try to wrap around. Watch Sauer, yeah. Watch Sauer. Smack the guy on the head twice. Dunk, dunk. Should be going in there for more than two minutes, to be honest. Yeah, two minutes in the cinnamon there for, for Michael Sauer. Yeah. Short, uh, South Africa shorthanded. Uh, it's the last thing they need to be. Uh, they are already up against it uh, as uh, New Zealand are turning in the screws. 7-1 is the score. Five and a half minutes left to go. And they're having their own way at it. Here comes Kerry. Goal. Not so much. But could have been. Could have been. So, Jeremy, just a chat. I had a little wee chat with uh, Jonathan. Yes. Between periods. And he did some calculations for us. New Zealand, obviously, if they win this game, which I think they're going to. Yep. Get gold. They after. Hong Kong, they are after Thailand. It's left okay. by number four. And it all works on points. Because you take away all the wins against South Africa, puts them in their own category of how them, how many points they had for each other other, against yeah. each other games, only against each other, not against South Africa. And that's the goal differences and the goal goals for goals against. Even though Thailand beat Hong Kong. Because they had minus two if you take away the South African games. So that puts New Zealand on top. Wow, off the, off the crossbar. Should have been a goal. Should have been number eight, but not to be. Uh, as South Africa looks to weather the storm of this power play. Away comes South Africa. Chance, yeah. 30 seconds left in the power play. Uh, penalty kill. Oh. Oh, and there's going to be a call there. Tripping Surely on the number tripping, nine. Surely tripping, I mean, from behind as well. Into the boards. So that should be number nine from New Zealand going in. We'll see when the referee finally calls it. But that's Nash Jones and Nash Hayward Jones. He's one of the goal scorers, of course.
Yep, it's a tripping call. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, what is that one? That one's caramel. Yes, let's have the caramel. That one's mocha. No, no. Normal. And hazelnut. Are we having the caramel next, folks? That storm. Top Tev. South Africa managed to get hold of it. off to him. Looking Top for it. And eventually the it. pressure pays off as New Zealand come away with it. Three South Africans behind the net. Top Tev again with it. But looking up, South Africa's got a chance here. South Africa with another chance. Levi with a big shot, but just too high. Found the mover. South Africa have got a chance here. One and a half minutes on a penalty kill for the New Zealanders. South Africa must compose. Regroup. But look at the pressure. They can reset. No problem. There's plenty of time. No. Don't throw it away. Great job here by the New Zealanders. Quickly dumping it out. Getting fresh legs on the ice as soon as possible. And here we go, South Africa breaking it through. Levi putting his body between the player and the puck. Perfect hockey skills, but getting stopped there by the number seven. But pressure's on there by Fandamava. One by number seven from New Zealand. See, I can't even remember his name, so how can you tell me he's a favorite? He's your favorite, you just... Uh, I'm not distracted by the hair, I promise. Cop to No. Why did I say cocktail? Where does that come from? Carry. Carry. Looked it with a shot dealt with there by Gilbert. A broken stick. I've seen a lot of those this time. I've seen a lot of that. Come on, Baker. Get your stick on it. Two minutes left in the game. It's a 7 1 ball game at the moment. And I did say ball game because that's what we're talking about. It's just oh, a oh, saying. It's oh, just a oh, saying. Oh. Can't say puck game. <laughs> it's a hockey game. There we go. Uh, still, of course, uh, New Zealand looking to add to that score. 7-1. They've got this game oh, sewn up. Skills. In fact, they've had this sewn up uh, for a while already. But the South Africans, for the most part, have shown such good improvement um, in this particular encounter. Uh, they will need to work on things like accuracy and, I guess, from time to time, composure. But for me, this has been one of their better performances. They've really played for each other as a team. Yeah, I know. It's, it's definitely been great. Definitely come together, more positivity. They've, they've come out hardworking. Yeah. They've, they've fired almost immediately. Uh, and that's been one of the other comments we've made is that they've struggled uh, sort of in the first 10 minutes to, to get going in games. Not so today. Uh, they have fired immediately and really uh, made things difficult for the New Zealanders from time to time. Uh, but it's New Zealand 7-1 to the good at the moment. South Africa will do well to work on those 50-50 passes that just don't go to their players. Yes. You've got to find your player if you're hoping to complete an offensive move. And I mean, even those ones where it's just the opportunity that a New Zealander can intercept. Just like that. Just like but that. But close, go. luckily, got good through. Good turn there. Gaya with it now. Good speed. L looking, looking to, to take a shot. Wide. Unfortunately, no problem there. But New Zealand have definitely done great. But it's the same same score as the friendly. And 60 shots to eight. Wow. Dominant, 40 dominant seconds display. left. South Africa are hoping to get another one. But New Zealand, I think, trying to get one last one on the board. Carries there, he's looking. Carries dangerous. Oh, and they didn't get it to him. Miscue. Connor makes to get it out. Miscue there, of course, that was the New Zealand number 16, Joel Peterson. And there's a player down. Interference call there. I think on number 17 or number 16 is going in the box. Number 17, but he did apologize. Josh Roger. Absolutely totaled 
good sportsmanship there, I think, by the New Zealander apologising there and just I'm trying to help him up a system as such. He's going in for interference with a late hit. So it's two minutes, but it's 25 seconds left. Go, let's have a look at this replay. You see Roger going in. Gets a stick in. Oh, my word. Yo. 17 mugged him from behind Leonard Wimmer. I mean, that wasn't even anything other than just plain, simple naughtiness. <laughs> elbow to the back of the head. No, it wasn't. He wouldn't be in for two minutes if it was to the head. Unnecessary, and really. Ten seconds left. Great job here by New Zealand. And here they come. Linesmen and are getting close because they knew it was coming. They've just done it. New Zealand have just done it. What a great show by the New Zealand team. 7-1, to one, giving them the gold in this tournament. What an outcome. What an outcome. What a, what a result. I mean, think about that last game for New Zealand when they went down with eight seconds on the yeah. clock to uh, Hong Kong. They must have really felt their hopes and aspirations sort of drop to their knees. Uh, and they may have thought, well, that's the end of it for us. We, we're out of this. Yet, of course, they come back a, a really good result in their favor earlier today as Thailand Jeez. beat Hong Kong. Uh, and then, of course, a good win here today as New Zealand come away 7-1 winners uh, and will take home the gold medal. Oh, yeah. Uh, the well-deserved, very well-deserved. And, I mean, I'm honestly going to say to all the teams here, you have outshone and outperformed everybody's expectations that I have heard speaking about the tournament. Majority average of these players in all of these teams are 16 years old. And watching this kind of talent grow is going to be fantastic in every single team, and especially Thailand with their first ever debut. Beautiful work. So congratulations to all the teams. Unfortunate for South Africa coming in there with the last place and, and not getting a, a win under their belt, unfortunately. But it's a learning curve, and they've got room to grow now. Absolutely. You learn and you take from the experience, and you pick yourself up off the floor. You dust yourself off you start all over again and that's how you're going to get better so well done and congratulations to new zealand just looking at some of the shots of the south african teams you can see they definitely the south african team rather uh, you can see that they're not happy about it nobody likes to come uh, second in uh, in a game uh, and particularly that far second seven one was a partic particularly strong performance from the uh, new zealanders uh, but i mean uh, with disappointment comes the motivation uh, to just lift your game to the next level uh, and the next opportunity uh, to uh, come away with the win. So, you know, hopefully uh, they'll dislike this so much that they will uh, want to drive hard and push for the win. Massive support nonetheless for the South Africans. You can hear them in the background. Huge support here. Thank you so much to the crowd, to all the supporters. We helped every step of the way. of the game, best player of the game, and they're going to do best player for each team, MVP, picked by the coaches. Once that's done, they'll have a few moments and then we'll have the uh, closing ceremony where the teams will get their medals, the trophies, Best players of the tournament, goalie, forwards, etc. Player number 24 for South Africa getting the best player for this game. Langam Langeni, and I did think that he had a really strong performance as well, so well done to him as he picks up the MVP award. Definitely. Great job there. Hard work. Wow, 
great. I, I was clearly out of mind. Max <laughs> Simpson, number 21, getting it for the New Zealand for this game. Well done, we'll see. Max. We'll see for the team. Yeah. Well I said for Kerry, for the team. He could be for the for team. The I mean, I've got to say that he had a good performance. It was very visible throughout this particular game. Yeah. But well done, Max Simpson, as he picks up the MVP award. But let's see the outcome for those watches for the tournament. Best players for the team. Okay, so for South Africa, I'm going to pick uh, Janse van Rensburg. I think so too. Or Levi. Yeah, so it'll be either uh, Janse van Rensburg or Levi. You worked yep. hard throughout every single game. You worked really hard. Great job. Very, very well deserved there. Yuval Levi, number 17. Surely. Carry, I'm sure. Surely number nice 14. Yep. Great job, great skills. He doesn't look like a 16 year old, this guy though. I, I read this guy's just made 18 years. Good grief. What? I told you he was my favorite. I mean, he, this guy's going to be under 18 going on under 40 because, goodness, he looks uh, like a much bigger boy than the... Goodness gracious. Anyway, he's pure skill. Let me tell you now, Jacob 2005. Kerry... 2005. 2005. There we go. Bang on the button. This will be his last under 18 tournament. Oh, and apparently he's 6'2". Plays in Canada. And that's a big So there you go. How do we get here? <laughs> oh, no. I know. Tell you what, um, I think that they've got uh, everything right in terms of the result today. I mean, New Zealand deserved that win. Really Definitely. good performance once again. And I, as I say, I think back to that last game uh, where New Zealand went down 5 4 to, uh, uh, to Thailand, Hong Kong. No, they went down to Hong Kong. Uh, and uh, it, it really was a game where you thought, surely, or the result really, where you thought, surely that's the, the goose cook, if you like. It, it really was. Uh, not going to go New Zealand's way. Uh, and it's funny how sport works. Uh, and, and it's uh, worked out in uh, New Zealand's favour. Good results earlier today uh, as Thailand beat Hong Kong. Uh, and then, of course, uh, New Zealand getting the better of South Africa by some margin. 7-1, of course, bags them the gold medal. Uh, and uh, a really good performance nonetheless. And there, we're just looking at the uh, tournament, uh, basically the, the, the standings now. New Zealand ranked with uh, number one, Hong Kong two, Thailand three, and RSA four. And the goal differences being seven plus seven for New Zealand. 
plus two for Hong Kong, plus five for Thailand, and minus 14 for South Africa. Ouch. These are lessons. These are lessons for, for everybody. Even, of course, uh, for New Zealand, they've come away from this going, uh, there's places that we can improve on, uh, but for now, we're going to celebrate. We've enjoyed our time in, the, in Cape Town in South Africa. Oh, it's been amazing, and it's been amazing to host this tournament, and this is number two of three, and South Africa is being the first country ever in history to host three world championships in one year. And I mean, really, people, Canada hasn't even done it, nor is America. And we're in South Africa, where there's like no ice naturally, <laughs> no <laughs> snow in winter, unless you're on a mountain. So please, guys, take your hats off to the uh, local LOC here and to Jason for putting in his bids up at Congress and IIHF and managing to win it. So it's been amazing to host you all. And thank you for all the streaming comments. You guys have been fantastic company. Lots of laughs and giggles. And uh, I will again say thank you to the New Zealand women's ice hockey team and your parents and family and all the supporters here of the under-18s as well. You guys and your support and little love messages that you send through with the cards and the little gifts to our team the stats team upstairs and to me and Jeremy it's been fantastic <laughs> it's really been it's just a little motivator it. and there they are there's Jen and all of them beautiful bunch of people and, and that is so nice it's the it's the Hong Kong team on the other side of the congratulating them congratulating the New Zealand team such a nice touch and exactly that it's a it's such brilliant sportsmanship you know very good and that's the hockey thing. It's like you, you just, there's so much love after the fact. On the ice, no love. No love <laughs> at all, but I mean, that's just the way it works. Yeah. Of course, we're getting ourselves ready now for the, um, the tournament closing uh, and also just those final awards uh, as we bring this uh, under 18 Ice Hockey World Championship to a close. Can't believe it. It's like uh, somebody hit the fast forward button because I feel like just the other day we were going into game one yeah. uh, and now we're done and dusted. But we've got. Uh, uh, just a little bit of work still to be done uh, and uh, it's time of course uh, for us to uh, start getting ready for the men's senior ice hockey world championships gets underway in Cape Town from the 17th of April through to the 23rd of April and what a spectacle that's going to be it's going to be such a fantastic tournament um, you know hopefully as somebody said uh, you know third time lucky maybe we'll take gold in that one it's going to be hard work very hard work but uh, as South Africa national men's team have said uh, we're not done yet, and they've been working very hard on and off the ice. I've been watching and keeping up to date with them. You know, they're trying their hardest, so um, we'll see. Hard work does pay off. But, yeah, New Zealand, well done. Really, really great show. Absolutely. In fact, you know, in that game uh, where they went on 5-4 to, uh, to Hong Kong, uh, they did so well to force their way back into that particular game. They were trading 4-2 at one stage, forced their way into a 4-4 tie, uh, and then with eight seconds remaining, uh, it was Hong Kong who snuck the, the deciding goal to win 5-4. It was that close. It was close. eight seconds close. Uh, and so uh, you feel like uh, New Zealand, on balance, deserved this opportunity. They certainly played their hearts out today. Uh, and well done to them uh, as they walk away as champions and gold medal winners from this particular tournament. Yeah, guys, we're just going to take a little breather. I'm sure we'll come back to you shortly. What you mean is we're going to eat the other Kit Kat chocolates that were brought to us. <laughs> Maybe there'll be some interesting uh, video replays. I'm not sure if they're going to do that, but we'll see. Just for now. Oh, wait. Don't go. What? I haven't said all my sponsors and thank you. Go so ahead. I'm so sorry. Terrible me. So I'm just going to give a shout out here to all my sponsors. So thank you very, very much to Sascock, South African Ice Hockey Federation, Western Province Ice Hockey Association, Pedigree Media, the fantastic stream, your team, fantastic. Jeremy, awesome. <laughs> Heart FM intro, the ice station, of course, where this beautiful ice rink is, CompuTicket, DigiCape, Signage Hub, Peninsula Beverages, Carol Boys, Bloberg Meat, Graphic Thought Design Company, Euro Steel, Sun Grand West, thank you so much for this facility. CFW fans, to keep the kits nice and clean and the humidifiers dehumidifying, to keep them a little bit less smelly. A quell, <laughs> water and beverages, and then the city of Cape Town, Western Cape Government, and the Department of Sports, Arts, and Culture. So that's that. That's a wrap from us. But uh, we'll bring you some more updates here with the closing ceremony. See you shortly.
chance to be one. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead of everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright. Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like. And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life. A few friends with intent can help you feel alive. Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time. Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life. They'll try to kick you while you're down. They wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Here we go, folks. Of course, uh, we're just a few seconds away from the uh, presenting of the various awards and, of course, ultimately the conclusion uh, of this under 18 ice hockey world championships. In fact, uh, let's go down to the ice uh, and catch up with all of the awards, all of the presentations. Let's move now to our stadium announcer.
boys and girls, once again, thank you for your patience. Right now, we are going to start the closing ceremony. On the carpet today, we have the president of the South African Ice Hockey Federation, Jason Surf, the chairperson of the International Ice Hockey Federation for this tournament, Marta Zawatska, and also from the department, sorry, from the city of Cape Town, Mzwake Mkavashe. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to steal Ralph's work, yeah. But good evening. I'll, let me first greet Mr. President, the chairperson next to me. Good evening. Special guest is the parents, both from the city of Cape Town and those from abroad, who have came out in numbers with their families, their children, to put the bombs on the seat. I salute you on the back and in front. Thank you very much for watching the, the, the goodness of, of this game. And also, a, a very thankful uh, message goes to the players, yourselves. All the four countries that have showcased tonight, thank you guys. You have played and you have showcased uh, us uh, the best of the ice hockey game. Thank you very much. So on behalf of the city, we support you wholeheartedly. We were here two weeks ago, a week ago with the women, so two weeks here. Women were playing it out here and were showing all the skills. So the city supports the ice hockey uh, 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 play wholeheartedly with whatever means that is possible. And we are here tonight to signify that and showcase and uh, put a signature to the future of this game so that this game may continue, especially at an international level like we saw now. Cape Town is an events capital of the world. It all starts before the new year, switching on of lights, and it, it doesn't stop until May, then it, it comes down a little bit. Then it bars again from August until December. So we are an events capital. We are located at the tip of the map of Africa, and we are unique with everything that we do. So I want to assure you that we will continue, President and the Chairperson, supporting this game, and we will be here to watch and mingle around the trainers, the, the coaches, the players themselves, because this game brings a, an economic activity which is hidden around this. We might be excited here in the course, but there's an economic activity here which is generated by families, by players, by technical teams that comes to Cape Town, the hotel facilities, the security facilities, the hiring, the car hire, everything that is here, it brings the economic boost to the city of Cape Town. So we are proud and grateful to host you countries. And you must take the message back that to the organizers of hockey, come and host your games in Cape Town. So with that, Ralph, I want to say thank you very much for the display and uh, all the skills that you showed us tonight. Thank you very much, and thank you to the parents once again. Thank you to the Captonians who came out in numbers to support the game. Thank you very much, Ralph. Thank you. Thank you, Mzuake Nkavashe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and now moving on to the special awards. First, for best goalie of the tournament, goes to... From South Africa, play number one, Nico Janssen van Rensburg. There we go, that's a, a special award, um, and Nico Janssen van Rensburg is certainly one of the uh, busiest goalkeepers this tournament, the, uh, Nadine Sheffield. Definitely, and I'm very proud of him to be getting the best goalie of the tournament for this Under-18 World Championship, and very well deserved. Now, for the best defenseman of the tournament, this goes to... 
Hong Kong, play number 19, Darren Chung. Darren Chung getting it for the best defenseman of the tournament. Why are you going around the circle? Because that's when you break the ice, because it's, uh, it's uh, two minutes in the sin bin if you do that <laughs> at the awards <laughs> dinner. Do Must I explain off. everything to you, Nadine Sheffield? Goodness. <laughs> anyway, cute. he's made it there. Very cute. Best defenseman of the tournament, well deserved. Ladies and Sporting gentlemen, Harry. boys and girls, now for the best forward I'm, I'm of the yam. tournament. Yam, yes, yam. Also going to Hong Kong, play number seven, Yao Yam! This guy set the standard. Jeez, he was fantastic. He was just but magnificent. Kerry was close, hey? Yeah, Kerry was close. Oh, well deserved. Ah, you can stand over there, please. Thank you. Very good. So there we go. Those are your three outstanding players for this particular tournament. Very, very cool. Yao Yam, for me, has just set the standard. Uh, in terms of his stick work and his his speed, speed. and as Just you say, skill. Jacob Carey will, will look at this and go, Ladies and been gentlemen, close, and I bet and you he was. And now to yeah, receive very, very. their medals for coming third in the tournament. The bronze medals of this tournament goes to I Team so well Thailand. Thailand. For the debut tournament in the World Championship, getting bronze medal, very well done really top effort they really worked hard and they i mean at one stage they were on top and um i mean they uh, as you say debut tournament but they they looked like seasoned professionals like they'd they done did. this so many times before their passing was precision their gameplay was precision they were calm collected it was very pleasurable hockey to watch actually and also i like their tracksuits just going to put it out there from a pure fashion perspective different i've not seen a gray no it's nice really, really like it cool. if they've got one in, a, in an uh, extra large <laughs> with the number 55 on the back then that would be me <laughs> number 55 it's a big number hmm. the reason it's uh, my lucky number my number two interesting oh, okay they don't have number 55s up in the world championships only goes up to 25 25 in the in the world championship jerseys yeah okay. one to 25 okay you can pick any of those can i pick so, okay, only up to one, up to twenty five. Yeah, only in in the World Championships you can only have jerseys up to twenty five. Uh -huh. I think it could be even twenty, but I'm pretty sure it was. 25. No, it must be twenty five because there were guys with twenty fours on their back. Yeah, yeah. it's twenty five. Look, in that case, I'm going to have to go with. I'm sort of torn between a few numbers, so I'm just giving some <laughs> thought first. Hold on. You can mug the guy who's got the number. Yeah. <laughs> Find the biggest, tallest oak <laughs> from I Thailand. Do you want me to look at the roster for you? <laughs> <laughs> mug him on the way out, <laughs> South African way. I'm I want your tracksuit. <laughs> the Thailand guys, unfortunately, none of them looked really like my size. Okay. Yeah, we'll look I for mean, you. I mean, the, yeah, the we'll tracksuits are really stunning. Unfortunately, I don't think I could. Five foot ten, them. five foot nine. Biggest one is a six footer, and that's Wurichat. And you have to have a number, number 20. twenty. is the goalkeeper. We Who's now the call the captain of Team Thailand to come forward yeah, and receive come on. their trophy. Sorted. Goalkeeper number twenty. Mug him on the way out. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I would have said number nineteen would have been the number I would have gone for. But I suppose I could go for 20. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, coming second in the tournament, we now call forward Team Hong Kong. It's not bad, it's still five for eight. Yeah, they're off to get their silver medals, Team Hong Kong, led by their skipper, Yao Yam. Yeah, okay. 
couple of years time we watch him in the senior men's Ooh. that will be a pleasure All the Hong Kong fans in front of us, like, we want photos. <laughs> That's number eight talking to them. Your favorite. Chi Wong, eh? Preston Leung. Leung, okay. You see, you remember these things. Yeah, I no. don't. I'm terrible with names, honestly. You can hear. <laughs> terrible with names. I should not be doing this commentary with the names. I'll just leave all that up to you. See how they're running on the ice, Jeremy? You can, can you get, look, he's even sliding. How are these guys doing this? Skills, skills. He's got to practice. What are those are those normal shoes that they're yes. what is that guy doing he's even he's wearing even he like suit that shoes that suit kid. shoes that he's wearing yeah four uh, that lady's a bit more cautious also part of the uh, the Hong Kong team uh, officials sort of coach ladies team. and gentlemen boys and girls we, go. That's we now the go forward the captain and now the of team one. Hong Kong to receive their trophy Ah, beg your pardon, he left the trophy behind. They get the medal first, then they get the trophy. Very cool. What an achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, Actually, these are nice the guys from and now to announce the winner of the twenty twenty three. International Ice Hockey Federation Under-18 World Championship in the Division 3 Group B Team New Zealand! Very well deserved. New Zealand in great shame and there's the uh, poor player that got injured in the world the, um, the friendly Coming all the way from New Zealand and not even getting to actually play in the tournament quite sad suffering a terrible concussion but he's there with his team and that's amazing <laughs> Price the girl he's quite tall there yikes there's some big boys in that uh, New Zealand squad, I tell you now. Look at Simpson. Towering over there. Jason's not short either. Okay, well, Jason, does, Jason doesn't have skates on him. You know, the skates, I mean, I wore it this, this afternoon, and all of a sudden you're a little bit taller off the ground than you remember. Yeah, it's not too much. We have to get you a decent pair someday. Yes, please. In fact, sooner than you think. <laughs> you got like three weeks. Yeah. Oh. Have to arrange. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and now for a what, special word. Really happy in because I, 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 you from can see the, the body language of the New Zealanders in that game against um, uh, Hong Kong. Oh, yeah. Gutted. They were gutted. Yeah. So disappointed, and of course now the opposite end of that, uh, as they come away with not only the gold medals, uh, but of course the trophy as the champions of this particular tournament. They're playing the national anthem first, and then they'll get the trophy to celebrate.
well deserved. They're very ecstatic, which is totally understandable. There's going to be lots of celebration there, but all under age, so that's a disappointing thought. Mm, that's what happens. There's <laughs> milkshakes for everybody. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have some champagne somewhere. For this ceremony from the chairperson of the story again again from the, the International the Ice Hockey Federation, Marta Zawatska. Marta Zawatska from IIHF to have her speech. Thank you very much uh, for the hosting us. I would like to say first thank you for all the athletes, for the game officials, for the coaches and for all the staff members for uh, great performance here on ice. Uh, it was outstanding to see how great efforts you can uh, put into the game and how much you love uh, ice hockey. I would like to say, of course, big appreciations for City of Cape Town and the South African Ice Hockey Federation for hosting us here. We feel very comfortable over here, hostile, and I think that you should be proud that ice hockey is over here in this uh, beautiful country of South Africa. Thank you very much once again, and on behalf of the International Ice Hockey Federation, I declare that 2023 U18 Men's World Championships Division 3B has closed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we now call forward the captain of the winning team from New Zealand to collect their gold trophy. There's Carrie getting his prize possession. I'm sure that's going to go straight to the team with a huge celebration now. Let's see what they do for their silly. One or two photographs first. Of course, official stuff must be done. Great leader, great skill. It was a pleasure to watch him play. Just 18, on, 18 years of age. He's got such a career ahead of him. Here he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> there we, we are. Thank everyone for well joining deserved. us here at this fantastic Great job tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we now have officially come to the end. And we <laughs> Everybody just wants to touch it. On their fantastic performance and their amazing the question win is who's going to go to sleep in, in this 2023 <laughs> International Ice Hockey Federation. It's going to get passed around and, and have salty to get all. It's awesome. Very awesome. Well, folks, it's time for us to say goodbye uh, from the uh, 2023 WIHF Ice Hockey Under 18 World Championships. We are basically done and dusted with the prize giving, with the final ceremony, with the closing ceremony. Uh, but of course, it's been a really exciting few days of ice hockey as well. We look forward to your company uh, in a few weeks' time when we get the men's tournament underway right here at the self same uh, Grand West Ice Rink. Uh, the 17th of April is when the first games will be played. We look forward to your company then. We thank you uh, for watching uh, the uh, the, four, uh, the the feed rather, uh, and the broadcast over these last few days. Nadine Sheffield, as always, an absolute star to sit next to. Uh, looking forward to working with you again in a few weeks' time. Definitely, Jeremy Harris. It's been amazing to sit here and commentate and interact with the teams and even interacting with all of the wonderful people overseas, all over watching the World Championships here. Thank you so, so much to everybody. It means so much to everybody. Jeremy, let's Next sign time out. you see me, I'm going to be on the ice. Yes, we've got to look forward to that. So please, you've got to come watch again. He's going to go in goals. We're going to get him skating a bit, a little bit more than he had today. And please keep going back to the beginning of this day. This uh, stream and review every <laughs> single moment of it. But yeah, guys, I'm sure we'll post the whole video somewhere if you follow Jeremy. And I want to know, how did we get here? Please make contact with us. If you don't want to be, if you want to remain anonymous online, that's all cool. But make private contact with us. We'll be quiet about it. That's cool. We respect your wishes. 
So it'll be really nice to meet you, you know, on the air. Or let's see. Anyway, Absolutely. thank you, everybody. Cheers, Jeremy. Thank you, great team. Thank you, darling. Thanks so much. Uh, good to work with you. Good to uh, see all of the excitement. We uh, look forward to seeing you again in April. Cheers.